Director Ib Malkior made two sci-fi classics that featured the 545 oscilloscope. In the 1959 movie, The Angry Red Planet, these men are trying to establish contact with the ship that had just returned from Mars. Notify me as soon as you have it. Yes, sir. Good so far. The man in the lower right can be seen using the oscilloscope, apparently trying to make contact with the returning Mars ship. Attention, please. This is a repeat of previous instructions. No one is to approach the ship unless ordered by control. Going back in time, this scene now recounts the trip to Mars. The 545 skill so features heavily. It appears to be used as a communication device. I know, I know. Okay, okay. MR1 to EB9. MR1 to EB9. Come in, please. MR1 to EB9. Condition A. Condition A. Everything's under control. Over. We want to be able to face reality on our watch. Come on, Sam. Let's get some rest, huh? The 545 even features as a backdrop to the chemistry that goes on between Dr. Irish Ryan and the commander of the ship, Colonel Thomas O'Bannon. Easy Fox Baker, on course, on schedule. Condition A. The communications officer in the movie is Canadian actor Jack Krushkin, who was nominated for an Academy Award in 1960. Here we are between two dots. We can miss either one of them. Never know it. Well, should we go out and claim the planet in the name of Brooklyn? Not yet, Sam. If Malkior would also use the Burroughs 205 Datatron computer in both of these movies. And the Burroughs company was mentioned in the credits for each movie. In the 1964 movie Time Travelers, Ib Melchior also relied heavily on the 545 oscilloscope. Interestingly, in both movies, the Tektronix logo was taped over on the oscilloscopes. In the movie Time Travelers, the actor Steve Franken, who played the tipsy waiter in the Peter Sellers movie The Party, can be seen here troubleshooting the problem. Steve's the actor in the center with the needle nose pliers clenched between his teeth. 